friends and welcome to another episode where I have a look at teams that would be great to manage in Football Manager 2019 using an updated database on Football Manager 2018. A link to that database is down below. I'm using it up to date as of the 6th of September. It will be more up to date as of the day you click that link. Um, I've just chosen not to update it based on most of the transfers are already done for the purposes of this series. Today we are having a look at the Portuguese League and we're having a look at Porto. They are the current champions of the Portuguese League. They won the league with 88 points last year over Benfica with 81. It's their first league title for a couple of years and keeping on top of um, Benfica and Sporting will be your challenge. And maybe it's trying to restore some of that European pedigree that we've seen in the Jose Mourinho era in the late to mid noughties. What you're going to have with Porto is firstly access to the Portuguese regen pool which is one of the better ones on the game. But you're also starting off with a mix of good talent, well known talent like Iker Casillas who's aging a bit now um, with football manager legends like Vincent Abubaka and regens. Um, not, eh, not regens rather, young talent, um, although I'm not seeing any right here, like these two lads here. Um, either Melito, João Pedro, and you'll have even more in your Portuguese B teams, where really that's where you're going to produce your talent. And as I said, your access to the Portuguese pool of youth is going to be massive um, because that is one of the best if you want to do a youth development save. Porto might be an alternate to Benfica, although maybe not expected to be produced quite as much as Benfica, certainly in the earlier part of the game. You've got a great standing within football, you know, Porto are regarded as up there, won the Champions League a few years ago. Since then, it's been a bit topsy-turvy, so they had a few firsts, and then this is about the time that they won the Europa League and the FA Cup in the Champions League and then they had a spell of absolute dominance before falling off and they didn't win the league for four years until last season. They won it in 17-18. Uh, as I said, I'm going to leave this episode here though guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe and I hope to catch you all next time.